This rewind is brought to you by Shirts. Shirts, I have them now. Hello and welcome to Brazel's Rewind, the show where I 200 older characters so you don't have to. Today I'll be covering a character that's been requested by one specific person over and over again. You know who you are. And I must apologize because I've actually had an L200 for like around 10 months now. And just for whatever reason I just didn't do it. But here it is. So first off, like always, we're starting with the normal attack damage build. And when I think of Nanao, I don't necessarily think normal attack, since I actually really like her strong attacks. I mean, what other character throws a fire tornado? Well, I guess Yama can, but anyway, Nanao has a ranged normal attack. And while I wouldn't call it slow, I also wouldn't say it's very fast. It also doesn't leave that big of an impact. So unless the enemies are really stuck together, it's only gonna hit one enemy at a time. Still, the damage is not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is still better damage. And the Hollow Killer is definitely helping me out. But her attack stat is still somewhat decent, and she has a plus 20 bruiser. So overall, the damage was there. It does kind of bother me that her normal attack neither pushes her forward nor backwards, but that's just a personal thing. Other than that, this build does do a decent damage, and as long as you stay far enough away, you should be okay. Though, admittingly, it does get kind of boring, since it has neither piercing nor area of effect, but that doesn't change the fact that it's a viable build. Next up I tried the strong attack damage build, and like I said I really like Nanel's strong attacks. Now unfortunately her SP isn't that high, and she's only got a plus 30 berserker. Not only that, but her strong attack 1 only has a 60% magnification, though it does hit twice so it does add up to 120 mag. Her strong attack 3 however, only has a 40% magnification, and while it can do a decent amount of damage if it hits an enemy directly, the fact is that this attack has terrible range for a strong attack 3. Still, lining up this attack and the strong attack 1 can result in a decent amount of damage, Damage, and any enemy that survives it can just be knocked out with a few normal attacks. Still those strong attacks put this build in a difficult position to judge. Since I guess technically it is usable, it's just a big pain in the neck. So I wouldn't exactly recommend it. Bleep, bloop. Finally we have the strong attack recharge build. And I have to say this was my favorite of the three. Just because I like using her strong attacks over and over again. With that said, I don't think this is a viable build. Her strong attacks are a pain in the neck to line up, since they don't have that much range, with the exception of her strong attack 2. And even if you do line them up, they don't do that much damage without the strong attack damage links. And I would like to say that the frequency of the strong attacks makes up for it, but it really doesn't. You're just stuck using more than 3 strong attacks to take out specific enemies, and it makes the whole thing not worth it. Now I guess you can make a decent build out of this if your SP was high enough, but stats shouldn't be crazy high in order for a build to be viable, which is why this isn't. I do still really like this character's strong attacks, and I'm honestly hoping that when they resurrect her, they give her frenzy or a much better berserker. But as it stands, her normal attack is the best way to go, even if it is kind of slow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to the channel, and let me know what other characters you want to see in a rewind.